Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am meant to be on a flight to Mexico with my husband with a bag packed for three and a half months of traveling Central and South America and Canada, but that is obviously not happening. So I thought I would film a video instead and then go and sunbathe on the roof because at least we have beautiful weather in England. So today I am filming 10 things to do during lockdown slash quarantine slash isolation. We're all feeling a bit shitty from time to time. Some days you feel super grateful and hopeful and they feel kind of normal and other days feel really rubbish and sad and you're grieving all sorts of things that you can't do or had planned. Um, so I thought I would give you some ideas of 10 things that you can do at home to really brighten your day. I may or may not be wearing Game of Thrones pajama bottoms, by the way, but you can't see that, so it's fine. So number one is have a date night. If you are isolating with your partner or with your parents or your mum or your sister or a friend, or even if you are on your own, but you have a friend or a partner who you can do a video call with and have dinner with them, then I would highly, highly recommend doing a date night. It feels more special than just eating dinner in front of the TV. Instead, you can choose a theme, whether it's like Italian or Mexican, you can cook your favorite meal together, or one of you can cook for the other and you can take it in turns. You could even create a new recipe you've never tried before because now we have a little bit more time to experiment in the kitchen and just make it a little bit more special. Make some cocktails or crack open a bottle of wine and just have a nice relaxing evening as if you're going out and it's a little bit more special but while still being in the comfort of your own home. Sam and I did a date night a couple of weeks ago where we recreated the last restaurant we went to before lockdown which is actually in one of my vlogs. It was at Hawksmoor which is a steak restaurant. So we made steak, I made mac and cheese because that was one of the sides we had. It was so delicious. I even got dressed up and it lasted about half an hour after my cocktail starting my dinner. I realized that I just wanted to sit there in my underwear and eat my dinner because I was too hot and getting too full. So that that is the beauty of having a date night at home and honestly it's so fun and it really gave us something to look forward to because Sam's working a lot in hospitals if he has a day or an evening off then it's so nice to be like okay this night let's cook this meal or let's have a Mexican night um, in fact we might do a Mexican night soon in honor of the trip we are not on so yeah I may have ordered some props and things off Amazon <laughs> which are on their way so stay tuned for that on Instagram um, but yeah, I highly recommend that if you can do it with someone you live with or do it on a video call. It is just something to look forward to. It feels like a more special event and you get to eat delicious food. And a sort of side point on from that is obviously cooking. I'm not going to say baking because I can't get hold of any flour. So baking is out of the question for me. But if you've never really cooked before or if you enjoy cooking, then now's the time to kind of try some new things and get creative in the kitchen and it can be really, really fun. I find that it's quite therapeutic cooking and then also you've accomplished something because you've created something that you can then enjoy and yeah okay number two is do something nice for someone else now this isn't completely selfless because it definitely makes you feel good doing something nice for someone else as well but if you have a neighbor who needs a food shop or if you want to drop something off on someone's doorstep whether it's a little chocolate bar or flowers or something just to brighten their day if someone you know nearby is particularly down that's a lovely thing to do. You can send a little thinking of you card in the post, you can send flowers. My best friend actually sent me a brownie selection box yesterday, which was incredible. I would never have thought of that and I've never seen it before. Let me show you. I mean, I've eaten quite a few. I'm probably rustling. I don't even think you can see. <laughs> I'll put a picture. But my God, they're so good. There were 24 brownie bites of different flavors. And the um, note they sent said like, you know, we're so sorry you can't be on your adventure right now. And it was just honestly so thoughtful. And I feel like it's a gift that keeps on giving because obviously I was super grateful and so was Sam. We obviously thanked them for sending it. And then it kind of gives you an idea like next time you know someone who, you know, has had to miss out on something they were meant to be doing or feels really sad or is on their own or for whatever reason, you then think, ah, that, those brownies would be nice for that person. And it kind of like just reminds you to also do something kind and thoughtful for someone else. Like, it doesn't have to be expensive. You could make something. You could just do a card or even an e-card. My sister sent me a really cute little, like, e-card 
from my niece Sienna just really really thoughtful just saying like I miss you auntie and it was just so sweet so yeah I think being thoughtful to your friends and family goes such a long way right now like even just a text message just make sure you are staying connected and a little surprise package is so lovely especially because everyone's at home right now so hopefully there will be no lost packages okay number three is to get the endorphins flowing and that is obviously exercise stay active i am all for slothing about on the sofa but i also know that a good sweaty workout makes me feel so much better or not even sweaty like go for a half an hour walk outside get some fresh air get some sunshine stretch the legs out do a 20 minute yoga video or you could do like a 15 minute hit that's quite sweaty or a more chilled out workout there are so many youtube videos that you can follow along to but yeah obviously shameless plug i have got some workouts on this channel a couple of like real time workouts there's a glute band one there's a low impact full body there's a full body which has some jumping and there is a low impact leg burner which has just gone up so low impact basically means no jumping around so they're still like tough and challenging and sweaty but you're not jumping around making loads of noise um, and they're not too intense and they are pregnancy and postnatal safe so I will link those below and go and check them out and give them a go um, and I've also got a blog post on home workouts where I kind of link all my favourite YouTubers and all the good trainers and instructors that I use so I will link that below as well so you can check that out and it's a great time to try something new like if you want to work on your flexibility or kind of body weight strength like if you want to master your press ups or whatever it is it's a good time to kind of be consistent with exercise okay number four is one of my favorites because it involves organization and cleaning and it is to declutter slash sort out slash have a deep clean so basically i do a clean every week but at the moment i'm doing like an even more thorough clean since we have more time and then also doing the things that we don't normally do like cleaning out the microwave cleaning out the cutlery drawers like having a proper sort of like drawers in the bedroom our big cupboard um, and it's a great time to kind of sort through your stuff throw out any crap that you don't need i guess the only downside is that you can't take things to charity shops at the moment so if you've got loads of clothes but if you've got the space you could just bag stuff up and set it to the side and then always donate to charity or sell online or whatever you want to do um when everything goes back to normal <laughs> but yeah i tend to stick on my favorite youtubers um again i've actually got a blog post on my favorite youtubers which i will link below um i love watching youtube and hopefully if you're watching this you do too so you can even pop my video on while you do a declutter <laughs> i find it so therapeutic like listening to youtube channels that i like and sorting stuff out oh there is just nothing better when your home is clean and tidy and it just makes your brain feel better it makes you feel more calm whack the windows open get fresh air coming through your house and yeah it will just feel amazing unless you like things messy in which case i won't judge you or maybe a little bit <laughs> okay number five is also a firm favorite and that is to spend more time looking after yourself so i know lots of people are joking that we're going to come out of lockdown and look like an absolute mess and yes, we can't get our hair done or get like gel extensions or whatever pamper treatments you normally get. But we can still look after ourselves. Like, and I'm not talking about anything complicated. Like even washing my hair feels amazing right now. <laughs> I very kindly got sent these Maui Moisture Shampoo and Conditioners in this flavor here. I don't even know if it's in focus, but it's called Sea Minerals. And oh my God, they literally smell amazing. You can get these in boots. Oh, it smells so good. And I only wash my hair like every three or four days. But honestly, having like a nice long shower where you actually shave your legs, thoroughly wash your hair, feels so good. And it's definitely a time to treat yourself. Like if you need to go to Boots for essentials, like, I don't know, if you need tampons or painkillers or whatever, then just try and pick up a few like self-care things when you're there. I am loving hair masks at the moment as well, whether I'm in the bath or just do them at the end of my shower. I've got this Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Hair Butter here, which I absolutely love. And I've also got the Garnier Banana one. I think this is quite a popular one. I've seen lots of people talk about it. If you like banana, you will love this. Oh, it just smells so good. There's just something so luxurious. So you can definitely still take care of your skin, your hair at home. And nice and simple as well is sheet face masks. Again, anytime you are in Sainsbury's or Boots, just grab a cheeky sheet mask because they make you feel so good. They will make your skin much more hydrated and just looking more alive. And yeah, I just think 
that although no one is seeing you, like it's a really good time to kind of do the things you don't normally have time to do or make time to do, just to kind of nourish your body a little bit more, nourish your skin, nourish your hair, and just hopefully come out of lockdown feeling like you've got your shit together a little bit. Well, I am also absolutely loving this Isla, I can never say that word, <laughs> um, uh, like brow set for tinting your brows. I used it the other week actually, and I was very impressed with the results and it has 12 uses. So I highly recommend it. It was like seven or eight pounds from Boots. Okay, number six of things to do in lockdown is jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that Sam and I have been completely obsessed with them because they're very enjoyable. They take your mind off everything. It's kind of like mindfulness, like you're present, you're using your brain, and then you get an end result. It's like, feels so good when you finish it at the end, like you've accomplished something. We have been getting ours from Gibson's on Amazon. They are selling out quickly, um, but I'm hoping more will come back into stock. We just purchased another one actually of a thousand pieces. It's a Christmas one. <laughs> So I believe this brand, Thomas Kincaid, or have you say it, is part of Gibson's because it's on their shop. Um, and this one looks really cool. It is a thousand pieces, like I said, and it's called Santa's Night Before Christmas. So we are saving that for a rainy day. Sam is working all weekend, which sucks. Um, and it's really nice weather as well. But hopefully when he eventually gets some time off, um, we will get stuck into a puzzle and have a wild week. Okay, number seven may seem really obvious, but stay connected. Have video calls with people, call your friends, call your family. I know it can seem quite like overwhelming because I feel like at first everyone was like messaging and calling each other all the time and you almost saw people more than you would normally. <laughs> but with video calls, it is a really amazing way to see friends and family, especially um, my niece is nearly one, so she's growing up so fast. So we love seeing her on video. Um, and we do a quiz night with my friends, as well as I'm doing that with um, my other friend and her fiance, and that's been so fun, because it, it genuinely feels like you're together, especially if you've like made a nice cocktail or you've got a glass of wine, and yeah, you're just kind of catching up, but also doing something fun. So it just means that even though we're not seeing people, it feels like we are, and you're still doing fun activities. It's still something to pop in the diary to look forward to, and yeah, it's a great way of staying sane. Number eight, is just relax. Now I know this is the most obvious one, but I think a lot of people are beating themselves up for not being productive. Whether you're working or not, it is totally okay to take a whole day or an evening or an afternoon or whatever to just do nothing. So to watch your favorite Netflix show, watch an old film, watch Disney Plus, very important. And yeah, just treat yourself, get stuck into a new series, make some delicious food, and you know, we're never gonna get this time to pretty much do nothing again, so try and embrace it a little bit. I have got a blog post of my favorite kind of shows on different channels and Netflix and stuff, so I will link that below. It's the same blog post as the YouTube one, so give that a read if you are looking for something new to watch and need some inspo. And as well as watching stuff, you can also grab a good book, whether it's on Kindle or cheeky hardback. I bought the um, second book, the sequel to The Hunting Party. Actually, no, it's not a sequel, sorry. It's just by the same author, but it's written in the same format of like different, a different person each chapter, which I love. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I got a Kindle for traveling and it's got a few books on it, but I just don't enjoy a Kindle as much as I do a proper book. Um, and since we have beautiful weather, it's the perfect opportunity if you have a garden or a roof, rooftop space like I have or any kind of small space outside near home where you can just sit and read a book. Even just inside, like we have a little sun trap inside so I like to sit on the sofa and get stuck into a good book. So let me know if you have any recommendations. I've also heard that The Silent Patient is good and what's the other one I've already downloaded? The Family Upstairs, I think which I am looking forward to because I love a thriller. Number nine is do something that you've been putting off. So I don't know if you're like me, but I always have a long to-do list on my note section. And the first few things are usually something I can do in the day, like today, like film a YouTube video, do the food shop, like the kind of things you need to tick off that you know you will actually do. And then there's always stuff at the bottom that I never ever do. And it's stuff like, make a wedding photo album, or I can't even, that's an example I can think of, but you know what I mean? Like clear out your wardrobe or put that shelf up, or I don't know, just stuff that you kind of need to do or want to do, but you always think, eh, I'll do it another time. Now is the time, you can do that stuff. You can do 
boring stuff and just get it done and feel accomplished. And you can also do fun stuff, like start a new hobby, start making candles, start knitting, start painting, do something that is relaxing, makes you happy, makes you feel productive and that you just never would have done otherwise. I know this list of things see all seem quite obvious, but I just feel like sometimes you need that extra push for someone to say, why don't you try this? And you think, oh yeah, I could do that. And then you do it and then you feel great. <laughs> so that leads me on to my final thing to do in isolation, number 10, which is one word and it is TikTok. <laughs> now I know lots of people are resisting, but it is very, very good. Now you will definitely be obsessed for the first few days or week and not be able to get off it. That is okay, that is part of the process. <laughs> you will then, after a few sleepless nights of going through TikTok videos and sounds in your head, you will then kind of just chill out and just use it occasionally and it is so bloody good. It is so funny. It's also really fun to make videos. Like I love creating content anyway, hence why I'm on YouTube and Instagram, but I've also got a TikTok at Lottie May Rainbow. I will link it below and you should all go follow me. I often get Sam involved, which is great fun, but most of the time I have to do them on my own. I don't have very many. I am very new to it. I'm not very skilled, but it is very enjoyable. It's not about getting loads of likes. Well, for me, it's not about getting loads of likes. I just do the ones that I enjoy, especially like the, um, the miming ones are so fun, like to friends. Um, like I did the Ross is Fine one and yeah, it's just so much fun. So if you're looking to cheer yourself up, then go and follow some funny people on there. And even try making some with the person you live with or on your own. Um, you don't even have to post them. You can just like try them and save them and you know, have them for your own records. Yeah, I highly recommend getting on the TikTok, getting on the TikTok, get on that TikTok bandwagon. <laughs> oh God, I'm going crazy. So those are my 10 suggestions of things to do. I kind of have another one actually, and that is treat yourself. Like I know we're only supposed to be making essential purchases, but it is also pretty essential that you treat yourself and also support small businesses. <laughs> so I have been ordering little things like this candle, which is from a very small business. She is the sister of a friend of mine and oh my God, the candles are incredible. I have a raspberry and peppercorn one coming tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I've had a cassis and fig one and this one is a bamboo and coconut. Okay, I really can't tell if this is focusing, but the brand is called Homes With Gnomes. I just absolutely love it. It burns so beautifully. The smell is like, it's kind of like a Yankee candle, like it really, really lasts. And I just love the two-tone look. And it comes with this really cute um, rose gold lid. So yeah, I do think it is really important to support small businesses at this time, as well as treat yourself to things for the home because we're gonna be spending a lot of time here and candles are perfect. That is it from me. I really hope that it gave you some inspiration of something fun to do. I really hope you are okay. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are well. Give yourself a break. And it is totally okay that emotions are very up and down right now. You are definitely not alone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, click the subscribe button for lots more content, do my workout videos, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I can actually eat a brownie now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've got the Oreo one and it is so good. Oh, Millie, I love you. I have never seen an Iceland food delivery truck before. Is that like a new thing? Have you ever seen that? I think you can see me as well. Hello.